It's over 12 hours since they last heard from Alistair. They have no idea if he's still alive. When the daylight finally came, it was just such a sense of relief because we had made it through the night. That we had worried that Alistair had bled to death. I mean, we had no idea what had happened to him and how badly injured he was. That was such a terrible feeling, because you always think of the worst. And physically and mentally, we were just exhausted. After almost 20 hours stranded in the water, the group are desperate. We were thinking, well, the, you know, it's another day, and somebody has got to come past. We saw some white dots on the horizon. They're coming this way. It looked like a white boat, and we were just thrilled. Turned out there were cattle egrets flying towards us. And our hopes were shattered. It was devastating Damn it! as the birds flew off. Just felt so helpless, completely helpless. On the sandbank, the group are becoming desperate. Clive, Brenda, Faye and Arthur have now been stranded in the middle of the Zambezi River for almost 20 hours. It's over 12 hours since they last heard from Alistair. They have no idea if he's still alive. There was this pain, just like needles all over the place, especially on my arm. I didn't realize what it was at first until I managed to sit up. And I realized there were ants biting me. These safari ants. <laughs> safari ants are one of the most vicious insects in the world. They've been drawn to Alistair by the scent of his blood. but their bites trigger a surge of adrenaline through his body, snapping him out of unconsciousness and probably saving his life. Alistair forces himself to move on. It was tough going, I couldn't stand up. I had to sort of <laughs> bent over using my left arm on my knee to try and keep support. Alistair realizes he's the only one who can find help for the others. But it's now 24 hours since the crocodile attack. He's lost a lot of blood. He's weak and disorientated. I heard a boat, and I was far from the river. Ah! Ah! I thought I 
I'd never get down to the river in time.